Welcome to the channel folks, Clunkers and Classics, where last episode I painted the 85i Rock Z. Uh, not real, real happy with it. Uh, it looks good, but it was so hot that the paint was drying one coat after another. Usually you would have to wait. 10 or 15 minutes in between coats not this I put on three coats one after another and it was still drying so fast so uh, all I had was mid temperature reducer it was so it was like probably 95 degrees inside the shop 89 or something outside um, so usually you would use a slow reducer so it would dry slower but of course I didn't have any uh, so anyway uh, it covered pretty good I tried putting some clear in the last coat and laying it on there thinned it out to make it uh, wetter but anyway it will buff out I just don't like buffing I don't like sanding buffing waxing anything like that so I probably won't do it, but uh, it looked really good doing it, but I just don't like it. So this is what we got. Okay, there's just a bunch of uh, stuff here from when I unmasked it. Uh, very, not very much trash, dirt, bugs, or nothing at all, really. A couple little spots. Um, so anyway, cleaning it up, putting it together, I'm going to put a little black here, uh, I put some little red on with a brush, this was, this was just a little rusty and they, see they painted the maroon over here and it was all flaking off, uh, so I, I had put some pour 15 there and then I just brushed a little bit of red paint on there, same with a little bit here where I had to weld in that brace for the spare tire. Uh, put on the, got these gold Z28 emblems. Uh, put that one on. These ones were not exactly the same. So they're just stickers like that back one. And I just stuck it over top the one that was on this. No. Uh, these ground effects are off of 91, 92. So I'm guessing that's what the emblems were off of too. So that's why they didn't fit exactly. I guess the older ones would have peeled off and you put this one on. Anyway, I might try to touch the edges up of that with uh, some black. I've just been touching up little, little stuff with it. Uh, got the new emblem here. That was like 30, 30 bucks plus shipping, 35 bucks I think. I uh, painted this piece that's all busted up, painted it black. Had to take that off anyway to put this emblem on. That's two little nuts on the back. Uh, I want to paint this black in here and there and paint the grill black, flat black. I got some. I'll probably do that here and probably it just now finished raining. It's been raining for a while. I got some of this uh, matte black from my local paint store a while back. There's not very much left, but there's a little bit enough to do when I need to get done. Oh, I wanted to paint these, these black too. See, I want to put it outside. And I can take this tea, the tea tops off and uh, paint that separately. Uh, okay, we got some stripes. Oh, and the IROC Z decals. These are the door decals. I'll show you them here later. And then I got, I had this. It's a thick gold pinstripe. And then uh, I bought these two little black ones off of eBay. And we're going to put them, not exactly sure how I'm going to do it, black. I wanted to do black, gold, black, but might just do gold and black because I'm not sure how how much of that black that I got. 
Uh, but anyway, they go from here up. Okay? So I'm fixing to do that. Uh, let's see. We don't have a lot to put on. Um, that's some of the stuff here. Oh, the uh, these lights here. I already sanded them down. I'm going to just put some clear over them. Clear coat. Make it shiny. Uh, that's the grill. I've got that sanded down. I'm going to mask off the Chevy emblem. Leave that orange. So we'll do that. Oh, I got the wheel well uh, liners for the front. Uh, the brakes need to be bled again. Had good brake pedal. And now it's a little bit hit and miss type thing. So uh i'll probably jack it up i'm gonna jack it up and everything put them wheel well liners on i'm gonna go ahead and bleed all the brakes again and that should be that should be it uh that's all i can think of right now uh not sure i thought about painting these uh black i don't know if they should be black these chrome trim rings So yeah, this red is pretty close to the original red, but then a lot of the cars, the maroon, uh, they had painted it all maroon at one point. And the jams, got a little overspray in there from the red, but yeah, they're kind of maroon, but I'm not really going to worry about it. I need to vacuum it all out. I need to re-glue the speaker covers here. Uh... Vacuum all this crap out. And I think that's about it. Just got a bunch of extra stuff there. Okay. Well, I just figured I'd show you before I... And all this is really dirty, stained on the inside here. I know that'll come off with Windex, or I gotta take some steel wool to it, or whatever. It's... I basically got to clean all the windows really really good so you can see it through here but it's it's coming from the from the out inside of it and uh okay I think that's about it guys that's all I'll be doing and then uh I wanted to put it outside but I'm not sure if the rain's completely stopped yet or not i'm gonna put it outside so i can paint those black pieces in here and not get overspray on this i did touch up these probably had to put some more black there with a brush and put one coat on there yeah it'll, it'll look good outside in the sun it's just that i probably gotta wait till tomorrow okay uh we're definitely gonna go on a test drive Stay tuned. I gotta put. I probably gotta paint that antenna thing black and and put that on there too. Take out this tape. But yeah, we need to uh, take her down the road and drive it because I haven't driven it other than just around the around the property. So we'll definitely do that after it's completely done, put together. I've gotta put in the marker lights. And then I'll go over how much I got into it. I got a pretty good idea. It's pro I, don't, I don't have it added all up yet. Because the last few hundred I didn't add up. But it's probably going to be about 3200 And we'll go over go over what I got in it. What I think it's worth. And what, what it needs or could need. Or, you know, stuff like that. So anyway, let me get rolling on it. And I will we'll be back. Okay, guys, I got the decals and the stripes on there. I don't know how good this is going to turn out because it's looked a lot better in the uh, sun. Okay, there's the $20 IROC Z door decals. And I looked up. Some years they're over here, some in the middle. I just put it basically wherever. Put it up towards the front. 
Anyway, I think the gold and the black stripe look pretty good. Uh, then around the front, nose edges of black grill goes in there. Not sure about whether I should paint these door handles and locks black or just leave them red, but they'll be red for now. Okay, let me get with uh, some of this other stuff and I'll be back. Okay, guys, it's just about to get dark, but this is, <laughs> it just now stopped raining about an hour ago. So this is first time it's been outside. Uh, but yeah, we gotta hopefully get a nice sunny day in the next day or two before I finish this video so we can see it outside and go for a test drive okay I sanded and masked this area out this area is going to paint uh, matte black the edges of the t-tops and the grill okay and I got I bought this from my local paint store a while back there's just a little bit just enough to do this job with uh, it's not very much you gotta add hardener to it so i don't have the correct hardener but i'll have to use some of that hardener i used with the red paint just a little bit okay so let me uh mix that up in the gun and we'll get that on there yeah it's just been raining so much i couldn't bring it outside because i gotta take the t-tops off unless i want to mask up half the car so I had to take the T-tops off and when it's not raining. <laughs> so okay, let me get this little job done. I'll be back. I'll show you a little bit of the painting. Okay. Put on a couple of coats. Okay, let me put a couple of coats on and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I got three good coats on them. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to scrape this stuff off and vacuum it up. Try to do the best I can without getting it all over the place. And then we're just going to brush on some Pour 15. Um... You can get this piece, it's just from here up, this piece, $399 <laughs> aftermarket. Uh, so, I don't have another one, and I don't want to take off all this T-top rubber and stuff, because I don't think it leaks or anything. Uh, I'm just going to take some Windex or whatever and clean this up here, scrape this off and pour 15, these two areas. And I don't think I have to let it dry overnight. I think I put them T-tops on and they'll just sit on top of this rubber. So yeah, they're both like that. And I, I said there's none around in the junkyards around here. And they're probably all going to be like this. I don't know what causes it. Just bad metal. I mean, if they make an aftermarket piece for it, you know, something's wrong with it. Uh, from the factory, so... Anyway, let me do that, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, that's what I got so far. Put the grill on there. It looks pretty good. 
breaks up the red a little bit okay so we're gonna I mixed up a little bit of clear my gun here and uh, we're gonna do these front marker lens so you can see a before and after now I cleaned out this gun after I painted the black twice with thinner but there was just a little bit of black in there so if it turns uh, looks a little smoky then uh, that's why but anyway I'm gonna put on a probably about two or three coats of uh, clear let it dry in between I just got just a little bit in the gun that's gonna be enough got the t-tops ready to go on I don't know if you can see uh, I just put some pour 15 along the tops of that uh, cleaned out the t-top rubbers and that that's all I'm gonna do to it I uh, cleaned out the whole back seat and it's dark now but I didn't realize that those back seat underneath of it there was just all full of craps old dead spiders and old foam and anyway spent a little bit of time cleaning all that out but anyway she's getting there I'll probably uh, let this stuff dry overnight and then put the signal lenses in t-tops on and uh, tomorrow if it doesn't rain I don't know if it's gonna rain it's been raining every day off and on uh, I need to take the tires off bleed the brakes put the new not the new but the the good wheel well liners here in and yeah you know, we're gonna bleed the brakes all the way around one more time should do it and then spray some black in around there get all the, over the red overspray and I think that's it uh, and we can go for a test drive but this thing's been uh, I think the gas has been evaporating out of it <laughs> gas gauge reads almost E and there's no gas coming through the filter because uh, I left the gas tank unscrewed there because I was worried about the vent see it's got a vent here but uh, I didn't want it to push its way through my gas line and, and uh, not vapor lock uh, I can't think of the name they just waterlogged uh, uh, engine there that's what happened my 82 El Camino a few times there the gas because the guy I bought it from had plugged off that line right here and uh, and the gas made its way up through the carburetor and into the engine after it sat for a while and I went to start it one time it was like click 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 no she was uh, hydro locked that's the word it was hydro locked up I took out the spark plugs cranked it over and just gas came out all the plugs so I didn't want that to happen to this engine so I left the gas tank uh, cap loose and uh, I think it all evaporated out but I just put in uh, um, about a gallon and a half so anyway we have to get some more gas before we go on a test ride and uh, but that's all right if it evaporated out that was all that old shitty gas anyway need to get that out of there somehow so <laughs> put in about five or so gallons of good gas and uh, she should be ready to go okay well we'll see you tomorrow okay it's the next day guys she's outside got the marker lights in so there's the front end hood's not closed all the way I'm gonna open it up here in a little bit I had a roll of uh, side trim and uh, I think I bought it about 10 years ago for this El Camino here but I never put it on and decided to put it on this one uh, I don't know it'll probably look better body color like red I could mask it off and paint it red put some uh, bulldog adhesive promoter on there and then paint it red but uh, I don't know but I figure yeah make it a daily driver or something and then I had some door edge guard stuff that I bought not for door edge guards but for uh, around sun visors when I was reupholstering them and stuff so I think I did it on the El Camino and this one reupholster it I 
put the edges around there like that so I don't know you have a little peace of mind if you're in a parking lot okay so it's cloudy out but it's about as sunny as it's gonna get I don't know what the deal is it's hot out but it's just not usually you know it's 99% of the time it's just bright and sunny just for the last couple weeks it seems like it's just been cloudy 90% of the time okay so there it is I still have an uh, you jack it up bleed the brakes and put the wheel well liners on that's it I did everything else did some more vacuuming in the back uh, put them seat covers there and put our, everything else away okay so we're gonna go over what it cost to buy and build these build this one I go over this on every build because most youtubers are very secretive deceptive embarrassed etc on saying the amount of money they buy a car for and spend on it most of these big youtubers they don't give a shit they make you know ten thousand dollars a video they don't give it give a shit what they pay for cars uh i i don't i don't care if i was making ten thousand dollars a video i'd still be up front and uh no bullshit for the every common guy that wants to have an old car, old muscle car, sports car, whatever you want to call it, and uh, build it. And how much? How much does it cost? And uh, like I said, most YouTubers don't don't tell you that. Um, but I do on every build, and most of my builds are cheap. Cheap as. <laughs> Not as cheap as I can go, which we'll go over here in a second, but I uh, don't know how to explain it. Not half-ass it, but uh, it, it, everything depends on the car, what you pay for it, what the parts are going to cost. Uh, you know, some cars, parts are cheap. Parts are cheap. They're interchangeable. A-body, Chevelles, Le Mans's uh stuff is cheap but then you get some cars kind of like this where it just fits camaros and nobody else makes something it cost uh, a bundle of money so okay got my list right here oh, i didn't want to give away the price okay i went over all this stuff during the videos but this is just a recap of everything so y'all know especially new viewers okay I paid 600 bucks for it I didn't actually buy it I had a helper they only worked for me for a day and a half and he needed money he's moving out on his woman and uh, needed money for an apartment and wanted a loan for 600 bucks for a few months till he got his income tax refund I said okay I'll give you 600 bucks but you got to bring the Camaro and title over so he brought it over. February came and went. When he's supposed to pay me back, uh, about five years worth, and <laughs> never heard from him again. So I had it for about five years sitting around here, and uh, decided, well, let's do something with it. It was just a basically a lawn ornament. So I bought it without a motor transmission, wiring harness, radiator. Uh, tons of stuff was missing. Tons of stuff was rigged up thing was lowered to the ground didn't really realize it undrivable in my opinion uh, things been fighting me every step of the way pretty much uh, so I had the motor 86 Chevy van motor and the van I bought for 500 I sold the van for 500 after I stripped her all down 
took the motor, sold the transmission, sold a whole bunch of other parts, just the whole of it. I sold it for 500 to a guy that was rebuilding a van. So the motor's free. Uh, the transmission, I cannot remember where I got it from. It's it's an overdrive uh, 700R4, I guess. And uh, I, <laughs> I can't remember where I got it from, but uh, a few years ago I had another helper and his last day, me and him just put the transmission on the engine and stabbed it in there. Didn't bolt it in, nothing. Just kind of set it in there because I wanted the motor in the car and the car out of the way. Uh, and then it was just parked over here for three or four more years. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. But before that, I had another helper that I paid 300 bucks to because I have two parts cars over there. And this thing had no wiring harness or nothing in it. And I paid him $100 a day labor of three days worth of switching. Well, it didn't have anything on the firewall. No wiper motor, no no AC, no heater controls, no, no nothing. nothing. Everything was stripped. So I paid him three days labor to take all the stuff off a of parts car and put it on here. But... I knew it was going to run into problems because it was a V6 and this one's a V8. This is 85, that's a 89 V6, fuel injected. And I knew uh, this is fuel injected too. But uh, I knew everything wasn't going to fit and everything, but I was like, well, just let's put everything in there because we can at least use some of it. AC stuff, blower motor, wiper motor, stuff like that. Uh, so anyway, paid him 300 bucks. Uh, got the ignition was okay but i didn't have the key for the locks so i got the trunk and the door locks and keys 40 bucks okay so this is some of this stuff i could have bought went cheap that's what i'm saying i didn't do it the cheapest way i wanted to kind of build it half-assed decent uh so it had no exhaust and regular exhaust like you know like i was saying on other cars you can't you couldn't interchange manifold exhaust manifolds on this with another car they, they don't fit they have to be Camaro specific exhaust manifolds and of course people on eBay wanted a fortune I think they make new ones too but they were you know a hundred bucks each 200 bucks or something and I thought well let's uh, let's go with headers and it's kind of a weird exhaust system it's two into one because dual exhaust true dual exhaust will not fit under a Camaro there's no there's no deal on the driver's side to run a pipe down there it's it's low to the ground there's only a, a, a hump type thing on the passenger side so I got the headers new headers off eBay with the pipe kit and the Y kit that goes down and into one pipe and then it connects back in the back okay so that was 262 dollars delivered tax everything uh 50 bucks new battery cables 52 dollars for a new uh hei distributor the original distributor that i had on the van motor w would not work this computer control being in 86 and it has different connections and all we hooked up on this was just a power wire so remember that if you get a 80 five or something and above that's run on a computer you got to change the distributor so you just buy an old style distributor okay now same with the radiator had no radiator anything and i could have bought a cheap radiator 60 bucks a little plastic housings and everything on it for to fit in this and then put a, a fan a regular fan on the motor but I opted with a big aluminum radiator with dual electric fans, and that was 176 bucks. Uh, spark plug wires and boots, 40 bucks. Oil and filter, 25. Fuel lines, 20. Heater hoses, 20. Transmission fluid, 20. The dash overlay cover uh, goes over the dash pad, 56. Struts to hold up the the uh, hatch, 31. Uh, oh, uh, okay, that was plug wires and boots, 40 bucks. 
spark plugs 40 bucks okay so then I ended up buying a whole harness for this hoping I could get the right one because it was off an 86 and it came with a computer I was 212 but the guy refunded me a hundred bucks because it was the wrong computer he sent the wrong one had it in his closet for 20 years and he didn't know so anyway uh, 37 bucks for radiator hoses 10 bucks for antifreeze seven bucks power steering belt 25 for fuel pump oh i could have say i put down four led headlights 4850 i didn't use them on this so all the lights will burn out but i ended up putting regular ones in so actually from the total we can take out 4850 another thing i didn't really have to buy was the new reservoirs they were windshield washer was 5248 and the radiator one here was uh, $62.98. So there's a, a bundle of money there. Okay, uh, headlight switch, 13. Wiper motor, $159. Uh, really got screwed on that, but I needed it. I couldn't use the, the one off the 89 parts car. Had to get an 84 to 87. So I kind of got screwed on that. More money than I wanted to spend. 20 dash bulb lights, uh, $8.13. Okay, the uh, front struts and the rear shocks, $112.30. Uh, originally bought front coil springs, but they were too big. Uh, so I returned them. And same with the carburetor, the Chinese knockoff carburetor. I ended up using that on another car. Put the original one on here. Uh, 140 for the windshield. Another, I had a perfect windshield. It was already out and just lifting it out, cracked it. $140 screw up. Two front brake lines, 50 bucks. The washer cap, 1150 for this little cap. Didn't come with the reservoir. Uh... 1478 for the left mirror glass. There's this little glass here to lose on. Uh, 42 bucks for the air cleaner. $80 for these moldings, belt moldings. Uh, the rear upper, the two rear rubber brake hoses, 25, 26, and 2060. Okay, uh, emergency brake cables completely missing off the car. Don't know where they went. 7430 for both of them. Master cylinder ended up being bad. Couldn't use one off a parked car. It wasn't cheap because it's got disc brake rear end. So it was a different, different deal for a disc disc. Uh, 8306. Usually I can pick up a master cylinder for, you know, 25, 30 bucks. But no, 8306 because of this. Okay, the red paint. The red paint was 135, but I forgot to add tax. It's 135 ship, but with tax it was 141.75. Z28 emblems, very expensive. $100.95 for three of them. Uh, I had the gold uh, pinstripe above it. I already had that, so I didn't mark nothing down. Ten bucks for the black one and uh 35 dollars for the header emblems 30 bucks plus five bucks to ship it so i think that's it guys that's all i got written down uh so it's a total of 32 30 84 but we should have minus the 48 50 for the headlights so it would have been a little bit less than 3200 31 90 or something 30 40 no 31 31 80 so 31 80 stick that there 3180 bucks guys that's what i paid for it and the money i put into it and plus labor so uh what it's worth see a lot of stuff never went according to plan the the windshield, the wiring harness. The wiring harness, I hooked up what I could. The rest is just sitting over there. I didn't want to snip it all off. There is no...
computer will not hook up factory computer from this car will not hook up to this harness it's under there under the dash but it's not plugged in uh, it doesn't need to be anyway it's we're running it computerless but uh i just left that there in case a new owner or whatever wants to put it back to factory so yeah for these to be worth maximum money you would need one that's factory everything's working the way it came out of the factory this was originally a tune port car tune port injection now we uh got it to a carbureted one and uh because uh, that tune port's just a mess but it was factory tune port that it came with and all that you know garage kept one owner type thing yeah it'd be worth a lot of money but to buy to get one in this condition that it was in and to fix it up to be worth top dollar you, you'd almost never be able to do it especially for uh, uh, to make any profit on it you could do it obviously but it would cost you more than what it's probably worth so I'm at the point here it's 3180 and I think it's probably worth about five grand I think I could get five grand out of it pretty easy uh, it still needs a lot of stuff not a lot but as I mentioned in other videos, I got the seat covers, but I'm missing one. These came with the car. I'm missing one. I'm not going to put them on. Uh, to do it right, you'd have to buy new seat covers. The carpet's not that great. It's okay. But uh, you'd have to spend a few thousand dollars more. The tires are not very good on it. You'd have to buy new tires, new upholstery. Uh, there's no AC Got this AC stuff over here, but I didn't put the condenser in it never came with one This is off the parts car here the condenser uh, There's no compressor There's no lines coming from here Over here to the compressor compressor goes up in here. I don't have any of that So you'd have to spend quite a bit of money to get all that working so it'd be worth top dollar new tires uh interior uh you know it's just kind of pieced together with the interior door panels were completely shot these are off a parts car i still need to get a little housing for this power mirror uh i could paint it black seats really need to be recovered uh so you know i did a lot of work for free free stuff like this whole dash here i got off a parts car i actually cut it in half and glued kept this half of the car and then that half off the parts car uh just uh pieced that together was happy with that it was a vast improvement of what it did look like um so yeah guys it, it's not you know it's not show quality or nothing so I think I can get five grand for it the way it sits. If anybody wants to buy it, I might sell it for five grand. I'll probably just keep it though. I don't need to need to sell it. So uh yeah, that's what I think it's probably worth. You know, some people say, oh, they're ten grand or twenty grand fixed up. Yeah, but well, not really not down here. Maybe up north or something or but this is not a prime it, it's a good example. But it's not a prime example of a car of this area. Like I said, it's not a one owner. It's not low mileage. It's not the original TPI. The interior is not that great. But the good part is it is an IROC Z. It's got every option on it tilt, cruise, power seats, uh, disc brake rear end, posi. It, it's got all that stuff, which is, you know makes it worth a little bit more. Uh, so it is an IROC Z. It's from the south. There's no no rust. It's not rotted out from salt and everything from up, like up north. So you know it's got a it's got a lot of good points about it, but I I just can't fix it up perfect showroom quality. It's just not worth the money and the time to do that. It's worth it to fix it up the way it is, and then that's it. Either sell it or just keep it like it is. Or I might add to it later, you know, if I get 
another parts car or an AC system or an interior or I'm out at a junkyard or swap meets and find some seats or seat covers or you know down down the future in the future uh, not right not right now for for right now it's done uh, that's all I'm doing to it I'm starting hot and heavy on the van and another project so uh, I'm I'm finished with it okay so anyway guys uh, that's the cost of it and what it costs to build it you can do it too 3180 bucks um, but yeah I would have liked to been at about 2500 I would have been more happy about 2500 and uh, just like the truck the Silverado truck I did before this one I got 2500 in that bought it for 12 and got like 1300 in it damn good truck for uh, 2500 bucks in it so that's what I would have liked to have been at. But some of my builds I got more in it. You know, I got 32 or 3,500 in some of them. And, uh, but they're worth more. 72 Nova, 69 Chevelle. Uh, the El Caminos, I think. The El Caminos are worth more than the Camaros. But that's up to interpretation. It, you know, it, it just takes one person to, to buy a car. You put it, you know, I'm put it up for 10 grand and somebody would come and offer me eight and I'd be happy. But, uh, then, you know, nobody would, might come by and <laughs> offer you nothing for it. So anyway, I don't care guys. I, I don't fix up cars to sell them, but I always fix them up. So they're worth more than I have in them. And that way, if I ever do sell them, I don't, I don't take no losses I can make I can make a quick two grand on this no no problem but is it really worth building this car to just to make two grand not really my time would have been better spent doing a Chevelle or old Chevelle or Nova or you know another El Camino or something uh, I could have made uh, be worth more money but this kind of fell in my lap so that's why we did it and it just sat around was lawn art and now it's not now it starts runs drives stops and we're fixing to go out on a cruise here in, in a little while after i bleed the brakes put some gas in it and uh well i gotta go down and get some gas first so that'll be the last part of the video is test driving it and i think it'll do all right i've been driving around here quite a bit and uh seems to be in good shape mechanically we'll just see you know it's going to need a front end alignment Especially since it was lowered and putting other springs in there and raised it up factory height it probably you know it's probably gonna shake at 80 miles an hour but we'll you know putt around about 50 or 60 and see how it does so yeah it's gonna need a little stuff like that but okay so when I come back later on today we'll uh, we'll go for test drive in it so I'll be back okay guys we're on the road Speedometer seems to work. Pretty good. Road's a little bit rough, but yeah, it's out of time a little bit. Try to start it at all. Yeah, it's need the timing adjusted.
freeway, it's running and driving. <laughs> Brakes work. I bled them again, but it still goes down. Brake pedal goes down. Yeah, I probably had a few timing lights around somewhere, but I, didn't, I can't remember where they're at. Need to adjust the timing right. It runs pretty good, just does that little rattle there when you floor it, a little pinging. Feels pretty good with them new struts and shocks and stuff on there. No rattling, banging around or nothing. Which is good. Yeah, I could put some tires on it, put it on, take it on hot rod power tour, but. <laughs> Uh, if I did, I'd have to fix the AC, and which would be a lot easier to fix on this than it would be on the Nomad. Yeah, it's the only day it rained like hell last night, so this thing sat out in the sat out in the rain bright and sunny today though I'll show you when we get back it's probably all dirty now and at least the wheels are all these mud holes and everything uh oh she died now it kind of I just need to figure a carb adjustment and uh, timing set. Other than that, I think it's a pretty good solid motor. Yeah, I'm surprised it drives pretty good. I mean, the steering's not bad. Not really off by a lot, but watch it I ain't got no tags or insurance on this so Okay, guys, yeah, she got dirty. <laughs> a little bit of a dirt road there to get out to the main road. So anyway, well, it's the shady side. 
Yeah, she's all filthy now. <laughs> oh well. You can see the little water spots from had a big thunderstorm there last night. Well, anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, I'll probably bring it back during the other builds, just if I want to do a little something to it, or find some more parts, or you know, something like that. But other than that, she's she's done. And no, I'm not going to sand it, wet sand and buff and all that stuff on it. I'm not going to bother doing any of that. But uh, yeah, that's it. If anybody wants it, five grand. If not, I'll probably keep it. I'm not going to advertise it or nothing. Just if any of you guys want it. Uh, I'll just keep it around here. And I know people say, oh, wait 10 years, it'll be worth more money. Well, they said that 10 years ago. Then they said that 10 years before that. And no, they don't ever go up in value. <laughs> <coughs> At least that's, I don't think they do around here. Well, okay, guys, I think that's it. I added another one to the collection. At least it's not a lawn ornament. They can start up, run, drive, stop, and all that. So uh, uh, subscribe if you haven't. We'll be on the van and uh, arts, which is mine now, 77 Malibu. We're going to get started on that uh, pretty soon, too. We'll be doing the van and the Malibu in between. It's well, I'll go over the Malibu again. In, a, in a, another video coming up what we're going to do to it it's going to be a lot of work and the van we'll just keep plugging away on it try to get all the little stuff done before <laughs> paint body and no I, I don't know what color I'm going to paint it or colors but anyway we'll get both them and uh, thanks everybody for watching and we'll see y'all next video